Good morning, Impact Church. How's everybody doing today? Come on, how's everybody doing today? We have such a special moment for God. We have such a special day planned out for you guys. The kids months ago asked to do this. They wanted to serve in the house of the Lord. So we have such a special treat for you today. They are going to come up. They're going to worship. They're going to sing. They're going to dance. They're going to, I don't know if they're dancing, but they're preaching. They've done all the setup in our church today. So give them a round of applause.
card and get a gift when service is over um and yeah <laughs> that was more lively than me good job kayleen girls good job seeing guy hey, impact kids that was awesome but we're not done yet i said we gotta this is all impact kicks today this is not me this is not pastor Andy. this is impact kicks so with that said, ooh, I'm not done yet. <laughs> so with that said, uh, years ago, I had the privilege and I got to dedicate this young man to the Lord. And I remember that day and I prophesied over him. And I said that he was going to be a powerful man of God. And he, when, I, when we suggested doing this, him and John John both said that they wanted to preach. And then he came to me like the next day, Eliel, come here, El. And he said, I got a word from God. So Eli John was supposed to be preaching with us today, and John gets to preach next week. And John's going to be taking our tithe and offering at the end and doing our announcements. And But Eliel asked, oh, El asked, come here. I guess I got to be over more. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't give me a spot. I didn't, oh, there are spots, though. But this little man 
came to me and said, the Lord put something on my heart, and I want to preach it. And I said, absolutely, brother. So I'm just going to pray over you. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah? You sure? Amen. No. Father God, we just anoint this young man right now and anoint his voice, anoint his words, anoint his spirit, Father God, to preach your word to adults, Father God, not just to children, but to adults. So, Lord, we bless this young man, El, and give him all the power, fill him with the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Oh, you all something. God made every single one of you for a reason. You all have a purpose in life. The Bible tells us, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Ah, sovereign Lord, I stand. I do not know how to speak. I am only a child. Jeremiah 1.5. If you want to know what he has called you to do, look for him. He will talk to you and show you in many different ways. The word says that he knew each of us in the womb. Think about it. God talked to Moses from a burning bush. He spoke through a donkey to Balaam the prophet. He spoke to Elijah the prophet through a small voice. He spoke to many throughout the Bible through angels. Are you listening for God? Are you looking for God? If you feel like you are not worthy to follow him, just remember that he chose to die on the cross for you all. The word says he set you apart. He could have saved himself, but instead he chose to die for everyone's sins because he loves us. John 3.16 says, For this is how God loves the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. God sent his son into the world not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. John 3, 16, 17. And remember, he is always with you in the bad times and the good times. Satan will try to distract you from God or even try to kill you like he tried to kill me. I was born early because it became dangerous for me and my mom. When I was born, there was a knot in my umbilical cord. It was wrapped around my body and neck twice. And I was not breathing, but God saved me. Then, when I was five years old, we were at a church dinner and a stack of metal chairs fell on me. I had to be taken to the hospital, but because my parents and pastors were praying for me and God answered, I was, and healed me. Then, when I was six years old, I was playing in my room and I was chewing on something and I started to choke. That day, My dad decided to take a half day and come home early from work, and he was able to help me. The word says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you. Deuteronomy 31, 6. He wants us all to go to heaven with him. He wants us all to live a perfect afterlife with him. But we have to show him we are worthy of going into the lands of the heavens. So make time for It does not matter if people think you are crazy. Jesus gave us one thing to do. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I command you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of age, Matthew 28, 19, 20. You never have to worry about him leaving you because he has appointed you to be his light in the dark world. So go be the light in his world. Yeah. Oh. Get right with God, especially you, Murnako. Stop. Ah! Oh! Oh! That's old school calling out. That's old school calling out. Hey, we got a, I'm, a, come here, John, John. So, I, I don't know if you guys heard, but I remember, I remember, I'll give me just one second. I, no, no, you can stay here with me. I remember that day that Al was at the dinner where we were at the Quinn Center, and I we were there early, like we were here setting up, and they had these, long 
rolling carts with these chairs that were never stacked up correctly. And, and there was just a weird spirit in the room that night. And sure enough, I, him and Sarah were playing by him, and they hit him, and they just fell right on his head. And we all just stopped and looked. And I remember that day like it was yesterday. And I remember after sh we couldn't leave, they left. You guys took them right to the hospital. But right we we were done, she grabbed me. Tracy grabbed me and goes, we're going to the hospital. I said, absolutely. And she prayed over Al. I remember this like, boom. And as she was praying, Al opened his eyes and looked at her. And she goes, he's okay. And, and, and it was the crazy, it was... Lord had his back, and he has his back. And that was a great job. So now, we, you ready to go? Yeah? And now John Bass is going to come up, and you guys always try to remind me that we have to take an offering, but you never have to remind me because I got my man with me. Ready? Hello, my name is John, and I'm going to talk about... Um, tithes and offerings if you own if you own money and you get a lot you give 10 percent to god and you um and you give it to tithes and offerings and that's how you give money to god and when you own it you give 10 percent to him and and it's a blessing anytime you get blessings like anything any money change give 10% um, to God, and if you, right. stop, stop listening to him and talk from the heart. Why do you want to give? Why do you give? Tell me why you give. Don't look at them, look at me. Why do you give? You give because um, you love God and God will protect you and um, you will own something, and then if you keep giving to God and owning, you um, He will help you and He will love you. Amen. Amen. If you're faithful with what He gives you, and you give to God what is first, He will honor that. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Do you tithe when when you get allowance or if you earn money? Do you tithe? Yes. I just asked, the, how old are you? Thirteen. A thirteen-year-old if he tithe. Is that right? I don't know. But he just said he did because his parents are teaching him this principle of first fruit, right? Mm -hmm. How do we give here at Impact? You know how to how do we give money? How um, do we give an offering? Go ahead and read it. Just read it. You can give it by mail, giving a envelope by in mail, and you can donate online with PayPal, and you can donate with Zelle. Let us bow, bow our heads. God, let us get protected. He protect us every day, and he loves one, every one of us. He He shows that he loves us by um, protecting us and helping us. If we struggle by something, he helps you, give you clues, and he provides you what you need. And he helps you a lot, and, I hope, and I'm blessed that he let us all brought, come to this day and see all the children do for the church. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 Thank you, God. Good job, brother. Good job. Awesome. Hey, today's a special day. We have family, friends, relatives in the, in the house. We have guests for the first time here. And today we are going to, because it's Friend and Family Day in Children's Church, we are going to have communion. And if you, and <clears throat> John said, or I mean, Elle said something. For God so loved the world that he gave us his one and only son. And, and we truly believe that you, if you know Jesus in your heart, if you have called upon Jesus and you said, I, Lord, I need you, I want you, uh, you are my Lord and Savior, we practice open communion here. Okay, It does not matter what denomination you are. If you're Catholic, Lutheran, Protestant, it does not matter to us. If you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you can have communion with us, okay? Jesus sat down with 12 disciples that were not all believers, and they, 11, of them, 11 of them were, but one wasn't. And he still had communion with them. So 
Uh, can somebody please give me a communion thing? Our, uh, my host and so in in like I just said in thank you. That's good. All right. So in I Luke, Jesus sat. It says he took bread. Actually, before we do that, before we take the bread, I want you to settle. I want you to kind of close your eyes. I want you to settle your hearts. I want you to ask Jesus, because when he had communion with them, he did something. He was telling them, I'm forgiving your sins. I want you to just take a moment right now and just kind of close your eyes, be, be with God, ask for forgiveness of your sins. Take a moment. And then he took the bread, he said, and he, he gave thanks to it, and he broke it, and he gave it to them. And what did he say? This is my body given to you, and do this in remembrance of me. And they all ate the bread. Amen? Amen. Then he took a cup, it says. And the cup is a symbol of his blood, of what he did for us on the cross. How he went to the cross for us, and he died and then he was buried and he rose again on the third day, amen? But because of his blood, because it was the last sacrifice that we ever needed, we are thankful for that. And he took this and he said, this is the new covenant with my blood, which is poured out for, it says for you. That means each and every one of us here, amen? Amen, and they drink. Amen, amen, amen. We can throw those away when you get up in a second. Uh, offerings over at the door when you walk out. We're not done. We're not done. Lord, um, I want my little beautiful children, they're God's beautiful little children, to come back up here and stand in front of me. Stand in front of Pastor Anthony, please. Uh, facing, 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 facing. And if you're a, a parent of one of these beautiful children, I want you to come up here. I didn't tell the parents we were doing this. <clears throat> so, yeah, we are. <laughs> Christina goes, we're going to pray for her. <laughs> Christina knew what I was going to do. Matthew. No, I'm not moving forward. Please. Everybody spread out. You gotta spread out a little. We all good? We got parents of? All right. So the reason I'm having them up here for a second, a, a jo, or Al talked about, Al read from a passage, and you can't probably see me, so I probably should move up, right? Is that what you guys are all gonna tell me? All right. I always get yelled at by the church. <laughs> so I'm going to talk to you guys this way. So I didn't, you didn't finish that passage, and that was my fault, because when I was working with you, but there was a reason why I think I didn't finish that passage with you, because now I'm going to finish that passage. And it wasn't just meant for him. It is meant for all of you guys. And the word says in Jeremiah 1, 6 through 10, it says, O sovereign Lord, I said I can't speak, for I'm too young. And I know exactly that's what you were thinking. I'm too young. I can't do this. Am I right? I, I'm 46 years old. You all know how I still say the same thing. It says, the Lord replied, don't say I'm too young. For you must go wherever, listen, I'm prophesying over you. This is what the Lord's not just saying to Al, I'm saying this to all of you. He says, I'm, I'm too young, for you must go wherever I send you, and you say whatever I tell you. So don't be afraid of the people, for I will be with you and will protect you. I, the Lord, have spoken. Then the Lord reached out and touched my mouth and said, look, touch your children right now. If you're a parent, lay your hands on your children. Sing, pray these, pray, say these words with me. L look, I have put my words in your mouth. Today I appoint you 
to stand up against nations and kingdoms. Some you, you must uproot and tear down, destroy and overthrow. Others you must build up and plant. I'm worried about everybody else tripping. None of you are too young to ever talk about Jesus. Doesn't matter where you're at, if you're in school, if you're at a mall, if you're at a playground, the Lord has appointed you, each and every one of you, for a different task for him inside his church. And parents, it is your responsibilities as parents to graze them and grow them in the way they should go and so they will not leave the faith. You may walk away someday from the faith, but you're going to have the foundation to move forward. And you will always come back to the Lord. And while you are with the Lord, you are, your words are anointed. Your personalities are anointed. Each and every one of you has a special gifting on you. Don't ever be ashamed of that gifting. Don't ever be ashamed of Jesus. Because he has changed your life forever. Amen? I love you all, each and every one of you. Sometimes I don't know about your parents, but I, <laughs> but I, but I love, no, they the same thing. Yeah, you like that one. That was funny. <laughs> but each and I love each and every one of you, and you guys did an awesome and amazing job yeah. for God today. Oh, 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 I forgot. I did, I did forget. You're bad. My bad. She wants to close this out in prayer. Yes. Yeah, like three times. So what I want to say for all of us, even every one of us, I wanted to say that we're all special because God made us that way. We should never afford our gifts to be like a hidden thing. We should always afford our gifts that our God made us to use them every each day, every time we go out and stuff. So we should never, ever, ever stop using those. Or if we ever stop using those, then sometimes it's bad. But we really need to use our gifts. It's not bad. It's just we should use our gifts because those are gifts from the Lord. Our Lord loves us, the Holy One who loves us because he has never let us down. We have sometimes let him down, but we will never ever again because he has made us, he has made us for preaching him and loving us and never ever ever letting us go. Amen. Amen. You guys realize I don't tell her to say these things. I don't. Like, she's done this multiple times now. I, I, I'm telling you, our children at Impact, they have an anointing on them. They are the next world changers. They're the next church builders. They're the next missionaries to go out to preach the word of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hey, we've got, like I said, our, our treasury uh, offering box, giving box is over here. Then we have a ton of snacks. To, thanks to Angelo and yesterday, Angelo's restaurant, right? We had to do something at, at this restaurant. So I bought some cookies, we got cupcakes, we got apple cider, pumpkin apple cider, something out, coffee and water. So thank you for being here. And we have a very chill week this week. Not much going on. Yeah, everybody's clapping. We got a very chill week. We you'll get some posts throughout the week, but Sunday, next Sunday, we got an awesome message about how life is messy without God. So we're gonna keep we're continuing that series. So God bless. Have a great weekend. Go enjoy this weather in God's beautiful land. Amen. Uh, remember to be a blessing. <laughs>